Take an ordinary pack of playing cards. How many different ways can the deck be arranged? The first card can be any of 52, the second any of the remaining 51, and so on. So that the total number of possible arrangements is 52 times 51 times 50, all the way to 3 times 2 times 1, or 52 factorial which comes out to be about 8.0658 times 10 to the 67. If a deck had been randomly shuffled every second since the start of the universe, there would have been time for only about 4.32 times 10 to the 17 shuffles, an insignificant proportion of all the different ones possible. It's fair to say that any story about a random shuffle having produced a perfect ordering of the deck isn't true. The odds are 80 million trillion 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 to one against. Such claims generally mean that someone is fibbing or the shuffle wasn't truly random. Chess offers even more possible combinations. American mathematician and electrical engineer Claude Shannon, often referred to as the father of information theory, was fascinated by the link between chess and the emerging new field of computer science. On the 9th of March 1949, he presented a paper called Programming a Computer to Play Chess at the National Institute for Radio Engineers Convention in New York. In this, he argued that the number of possible positions that any legal number of chess pieces could be in at a given point in a chess match was between 10 to the 43 and 10 to the 50. He also estimated that the number of possible games two players could play without repeating themselves, the so-called Shannon number, was around 10 to the 120. Of course, this includes all kinds of games that would never happen in practice unless one or both players hadn't a clue what they were doing. The number of realistic games between players who have at least a rudimentary knowledge of the game and manage to avoid ridiculous move combinations is much lower, but still immense. The Shannon number, or more formally, the game tree complexity of chess is so huge, Shannon realised, that for computers to be successful in competing with humans, their programs couldn't be based simply on analysing every possible position from the outset. Other familiar games have their own game tree complexities. Tic-tac-toe, also known as noughts and crosses, is obviously much simpler than chess. Nevertheless, it can give rise to a surprisingly large number of game situations. The first player can put a zero or x in any one of nine places. The second player can choose from the eight remaining places, and so on. Continuing this line of reasoning gives a value of 9 factorial, or 362,880, for the upper bound of the game tree size, but this number includes many illegal situations since the rules say that the game ends as soon as one player achieves a line of three O's or three X's, so that not all nine squares have to be filled in. The number of possible legal games turns out to be 255,168, or a mere 26,830 if reflections and rotations of positions are treated as being identical. The popular game of Connect Four is much more complicated than tic-tac-toe. It's played using a 6 up by 7 across vertical board and two sets of coloured counters. The winner is the first to make a line of four counters of their colour. Altogether, there are 4,531,985,219,092 different board positions and about 1.1 times 10 to the 20 possible game situations. Backgammon is much more complex than Connect 4. In fact, the number of possible games of backgammon is about 10 to the 144, far greater than the number of possible chess games, 
even though there are many more possible board positions in chess than backgammon. A vastly more complicated game than any I've yet mentioned is Go. Invented in China some two and a half thousand years ago, it's most commonly played on a square grid made up of 19 by 19 lines. Two players, black and white, take it in turn to place stones of their colour at the intersections of the lines. Although the rules are simple, the strategy needed to play well is fiendishly hard. Go is estimated to allow about 10 to the 172 board positions and about 10 to the 360 different games.